the design people welcome back to my youtube channel today we are talking about constraints and resizing constraints help you define how your layers resize and layers are just like your your frames your groups your texts and all embedded in one another constraints work only on frames only on frames not on groups so whether your frame is on auto layout or not it will work on them now you can see this selected frame is nested in this bigger frame this is a frame this is another frame frames are identi are recognized by this hash symbol so this is a frame this is another frame this too is a frame this icon is a frame so now to apply constraints to this um to this frame to this bigger frame you want to tell figma that when i increase or decrease the size of this frame i want what is inside to respond or to stay in one particular place now constraint means like a restriction like constraint it means a restriction so when you look at this frame and you want to increase it or decrease it you are saying that i want this frame to either be to either stick to the top left or the top right or the bottom left or the center it depends on what you want to do with it so for now automatically or let's say by default figma puts it on top left so whatever you want to do the first thing you see is this top left under constraints now for left this means that the width of the of the item this item is selected that you want to, to constrain is is going to stick to the left while the height is going to be at the top so vertically let me not use height horizontally when you increase the bigger one this is always going to be at the left while vertically is always going to be at the top so if you increase this now this frame increase the length you see that it's always this item doesn't move it doesn't move it's still 62 pixels away from the beginning so it doesn't move but if you change this to right to right and you increase this frame to the left i mean to the right you see that it moves to the right with this movement while if you change it to bottom instead of top it moves down it moves along the bottom so it sticks to the bottom that is what constraint mean means let's go back to top left so now it's on top left so what exactly does resizing do resizing resizing does not just come on its own resizing comes automatically when your frame is in auto layout mode so if we if we check this now it's just constraints that is here if you don't want this one to move at all you can click on fixed position when scrolling that's when you are prototyping so if you are scrolling it's just going to be at one corner it's used for some headers and help icons and things like that so therefore items that you don't want the position to move at all on the screen it's going to be in that permanent position so I was talking about resizing. Resizing only comes when your bigger frame is on auto layout mode. So when your bigger frame is on auto layout, or even if this frame is on auto layout, it's going to bring resizing. So let's try it now. Add auto layout. Let's make this like 200. The padding round 200. So you see that it is now a bigger frame. Let me move this down. It's a bigger frame now for this um hold on for this frame you can see that it has brought resizing and not constraints for this one too you can see that it's resizing and not constraints so for this one if you want to do this it's a bit different from constraints because this one shows how you want this one to resize you know constraint means a restriction this one is to resize it so now it's showing fixed width it means that no matter how you increase the bigger frame this width 
from here to here is not going to change at all why the height is also not going to change so you can see that for this element for this layer you have fixed width and fixed height when you increase this it doesn't it doesn't change the dimension of this layer but when you change this to fill container and this one to, to fill container it means that when you resize this bigger frame it's going to make this one respond to it accordingly so this one now is bigger is larger because it's going to fill container fill container means that it should occupy all the available space allocated to this layer now because we have padding of 200 around so from here to here is 200 from here to here is 200 from down here up is 200 that is why this one is right here in the middle then from for this bigger frame we can see something like fixed width and fixed height here too if you want to change it to hog content that is if you allow no extra space it's just the padding and the elements that you want to see then you put hog content all content for the two so by the time you reduce this i mean for all content if your frame is bigger than the allotted padding and the allotted size it's going to shrink let's do an example let's change this back to fixed width and fixed height and then you, you reduce this you see that this is coming beyond it and then you're supposed to even have padding after this element so if you want to resize it and you want this one to just sit right in you just come here and put all content so it will make it come to the allotted space now it's not crossing its boundary because it's supposed to be like this normally so all content means that it's going to hug the content inside it's quite straightforward so you, you are supposed to play around with this um feature and this one that is also showing fixed width if you put fill container it's the same as what i said earlier from here to here <coughs> from here to here <coughs> it will fill the container so if you increase this one if you increase this or you reduce it <coughs> you can see that this is responding to it now let's go to the deeper <coughs> excuse me the deeper ones if you select this text you can see that the constraint is center top so no matter what this frame as you resize and do everything this item will be will be restricted to the center according to the width so you can see that this is kind of in the middle this line shows center so if you increase and reduce and do everything you can see that it is in the center as you are reducing it and increasing it it is always going to be in the center i mean this bold text here so that is an example of constraints and resizing we'll talk we'll talk more about this in the next class on how to shrink this text properly i encourage you to subscribe and share this video to your friends